dear friends it is my pleasure to talk to you about the various aspects of ragging spreading awareness about ragging is one of the main commitment of legal services authority ragging involves abuse humiliation or harassment of new entrants or junior students by the senior students ragging is not new to mankind in fact it is prevalent among some animals bullying like behavior can be seen in primates but bullying among humans tend to harm the prey physically socially and emotionally the earliest recorded form of bullying or its more severe form ragging can be seen in ancient greece the term bullying or ragging was publicly recognized until 1862 ragging was very widespread among the european soldiers it became a fashion in universities and schools of europe after the two world wars when temporary soldiers recruited from colleges and universities rejoined to their academic courses after the war gradually it became a fashion in our schools and universities which followed the english system of education english schools in india also adopted this hazard it is gradually evolved to become a part of our mainstream education basically ragging was unknown to the culture of india were the earliest forms of schools were the gurugulam forms of education in which the children were brought up in the residence of their guru or teacher were respect and love for each other was preached as stated above ragging made its way into india with the invasion of the british ragging was taken lightly in our system and perceived as harmless by the society in general however the tragic death of a medico named aman kachru in 2009 led to a mass movement against ragging our state in order to avert the menace of ragging has enacted kerala prohibition of ragging act 1998 what is ragging ragging is defined in section 2b of the act as doing any act by disorderly conduct to a student of an education institution which causes or is likely to cause physical or psychological harm or raising apprehension or fear or shame or embarrassment to that student and includes teasing abusing or playing practical jokes on or causing hurt to such students or asking a student to do any act or perform something which such student will not in the ordinary course willing to do who can be punished for ragging the person who has committed ragging the person who has participated in ragging the person who has abetted or propagates ragging punishment for ragging is imprisonment up to 2 years fine which may extend to 10000 rupees either be suspended or dismissed from the institution barred from getting admission to any other institution for a period of 3 years a student who commits the offense of ragging could also be liable to be tried and punished for other allied offenses under the indian penal code as per the relevant ugc regulations formulated in 2009 a student who is found guilty of committing ragging can be expelled from the institutions and will be debarred from taking admission in other institution a fine up to rupees 2 lakh 50000 can also be imposed role of head of the institution and consequences for being a mute spectator of incidents of ragging are the head of the institution shall not be a mute spectator of the incidents of ragging obligation is also cast on the head of the institution to conduct enquiry within 7 days of receipt of complaint of ragging if prima facie the complaint of ragging found true suspend the student who is accused of the offences and shall immediately inform the local police if the head of the institution fails or neglects to take action in the manner specified in section 6 of the act when complaint of ragging is made such person shall be deemed to have abetted the offence of ragging and shall on conviction be punished as provided for in section 4 of the act that means just like the person who has committed the ragging the head of the institution also will be liable for punishment if the head of the institution didn't take any action based on the complaint as provided in section 4 consequences of ragging deaths suicide or otherwise in many a campus the scar which it creates in young minds is itself there for the whole life 
affecting mental health. Students have fled from institutions and are afraid of coming back. Victims have abandoned studies, drug abuse, violence and indiscipline. Need for awareness. Ragging is social menace and needs to be tackled. Ample awareness among the public about the serious nature of the crime is required, especially since ragging is sometimes committed on an impulse. Ragging was taken lightly in our system and pursued as harmless by the society in general. However, the tragic death of Aman Kachru led to a mass movement against ragging. Taking a look at some of the landmark cases in India, we have Vishwa Jagradi Mission vs. Senegal, which led to the creation of different committees against ragging. Another landmark case is University of Kerala vs. Council of Principals of Colleges, which led to the formation of Ragavan Committee in 2006. The Ragavan Committee report was released in 2007, comprising of various recommendations to control ragging and bullying in schools and colleges. This committee report categorized bullying as a serious abuse of human rights. On the lines of same, various laws and regulations have been issued to curb this menace. This committee also recommended that teachers and the principal must be held liable if any act of bullying takes place. It also stipulates in the prospectus that if the applicant is found to be have indulged in ragging in the past or if it is noticed later, admission may be refused or shall be expelled. To curb this problem, different states in India have passed legislative laws such as Maharashtra Prohibition of Ragging Act 1999, Tamil Nadu Prohibition of Ragging Act 1997, the West Bengal Prohibition of Ragging in Education Institutions Act 2000, Assam Prohibition of Ragging 1998, Goa Prohibition of Ragging Act 2006, etc. Ragging is also punishable under the various sections of the IPC. With these few words, let me conclude. Let us all work together for a ragging-free campus in our society. Thank you. Jai Hind.